how do we enter the data in the SPSS culture spreadsheet for the Unit 4 group? First of all, we'll start off with the SPSS culture spreadsheet. It's found in the Unit 4 group project. It is embedded. If you cannot open the file, it means that you do not have SPSS loaded. If you can open the file, this is exactly what it looks like. You will see all sorts of labels at the top, a bunch of blank cells. This is called data view. This is where you're going to enter the data or the responses for each of the people that you have surveyed for this culture survey. You will also look at variable view. Click the bottom and then you will see what each of these labels mean. The first question, unc avd. The label is uncertainty avoidance 1. The values which I input for you already are 1 equals strongly disagree, 2 equals disagree, 3 neither agree nor disagree, 4 agree, and 5 strongly agree. These are called Likert scale questions. Each one of the questions has this type of setup where it's labeled so that a number represents a concept or a word. On the bottom, you have gender, 1 equals male, 2 equals female, and then you have age, the various age groups. They go in order of how they appear on the survey. Let us take a look at a survey that has been completed by someone. Here we go. This is the actual survey that was given to a respondent. Each one of the responses represents one of those Likert scale question words, plus we have gender and age at the end. So let's start off with the first five questions for data entry. This person entered one, three, two, four, two. We go here, one, three, two, four, two. You notice I'm entering this person as a row and you saw also something interesting happen. I was entering numbers and it comes up as the actual word answers that the person had written down. It's because your spreadsheet is programmed this way. When you continue answer, entering all of the answers from this person, they're going to finish the row. So you will have this entire row filled in all the way through age. Then you move to the next survey. You go to the next row and you will enter all of the answers. After you finish all 10 of your respondents, you hit save. Name it with your last name so that everybody knows it's your file. And then you upload it to the group project. This is all that's due for Friday. This is simple data entry. You will receive another video that explains how to create the factors. You also have a step-by-step how to in the unit 4 group area which tells you how to do the factors but you cannot do this until at least Saturday morning when I have taken all of your data and put them into one spreadsheet so you need to stop with the panic because this is simple data entry as long as you've collected your surveys you've loaded SPSS and you can open this file you are capable of entering the numbers 1 through 5 on the spreadsheet so please enjoy this